timestamps and link to the Division 2 builder with the current build setup will be in the description. In this video, I will be going over one of my favorite builds, the EMP Bomb build. This is one of the best builds to bring in legendaries, since the power of the build directly scales with the amount of enemies in range. The concept is pretty simple. We use the EMP skill, which has a massive AoE, and also go through walls to apply the Vile debuff from the Vile Exotic Mask. The pros of this builds are, first, it gives good crowd control, second, it does very consistent damage, and third, it is very safe, and fourth, it is extremely cheese if you know how to play it. The cons are, it has bad single target, so you have to rely on teammates to kill the tankier targets. Uh, second, use it is unusable with another player running Vile Mask, which is not that rare to see with the CC builds being so strong these days. And the third is, it is pretty hard to gear, especially the two group of pieces. Now to get into the gear. For the mask, we run the Vile Exotic Mask obviously. Try and roll your status effects to the max roll if possible. The mask applies a debuff when you apply a status effect to your target. And the debuff takes 20 times over 10 seconds and has a base damage of half of your concussion grenade. The damage of the ticks can be increased by status effects. However, the duration is always fixed at 10 seconds. The damage can also be further increased by amplified damage, damage to armor, or damage to targets out of cover. Also, explosive damage increases the base damage of your concussion grenade, so it also increases the damage of the Vialtix. For the backpack, we run the Eclipse Protocol Backpack. If you didn't know already, the backpack talent does not need you to wear 4-piece EP for it to be active. So it acts like a second glass cannon for this build. For the rest of the gear, we run a chest with glass cannon, and one piece china light, and two piece grupo for the 30% explosive damage, and one more piece of EP just to finish off the two piece bonus for 15% status effect. For the attributes, you want to prioritize status effects, then skill haste if possible. For the specialization, we run the demolitionist for the 10% explosive damage, but you can switch around if you want to use the other specializations. For the weapons, you want weapons with perpetuation on it. You can use the perfect version, but it really doesn't matter that much. The Regular version works just fine. I like to run the mob as one of my weapons for the tempest armor on kill. This tempest armor on kill works on any kills. It does not have to be kills with this weapon. So as long as you have this weapon in your hand and you get a kill, you will get tempest armor back. You want one of your weapons to be a shotgun or a um, light machine gun because the shotgun has. 12% damage to armor at max roll, and it can be rolled with 10% damage to targets out of cover. And the same goes with the LMG, it has 12% damage to targets out of cover, and you can roll 6% damage to armor on it. And holding these weapons in your hands will give your vial takes a massive damage boost. Sweet Dreams is a very good gun to hold in your hand. Ideally, obviously, you want 12% damage to armor and 10% damage to targets out of cover. The shotgun damage doesn't matter, you will never really fire it. You will just use it to melee when, say, a red or purple flanks you from behind. But otherwise, there are also other weapons that are very good. A LMG roll with perpetuations is a very good one. Or you can even use a pestilence just to get some more damage in. But it is very flexible, you can run whatever you want. For the skills, we run the EMP Jammer Pulse. The skill mods, we run Radius and Skill Haste. 
you can run effect duration instead of skill haste if you want. The second skill, I like to run shock trap. I like to throw it at choke point to prevent enemies rushing. But depending on the situation, you can switch it out to artillery turret or cluster seeker mines for example. Since our build has so much explosive damage, the artillery turret actually does really good damage. With my current setup, the artillery turn hits about 5 million. The playstyle of this build is pretty interesting. When engaging in a fight, first I try and proc perpetuation if possible, but don't put yourself in too much danger while doing so. If you can't proc it, just use the EMP. And you have to learn the map and find spots where you can reach the whole room with the EMP. If you are running the shock trap, throw the shock trap at areas to prevent enemies rushing. It also stops drones, so that's a very big bonus. If the team is trying to push up, you can cancel your shock trap and throw it f further forward to make room for your team. One of the most important things to remember when playing this build is that to switch cover after you used your EMP. Since you will be dealing a ton of damage to all the enemies in a short burst, you will be drawing all the aggro. So switching cover makes them focus on the spot that you were at when using the EMP while keeping you safe. Here you can see how much damage I dealt at the end of the mission. I only dealt less damage than the artillery turn build, which is... I think by far the m most damaging build you can bring in Legendary. And I did more damage than the skill build, the turret drone build, and I also did more damage than the forward DPS build. Uh, keep in mind, I did switch to a forward DPS at the end for the boss, but other than the boss, I used the EMP build. Assistance needed.